Who's the Niners MVP of 2020? And this could change over the next six weeks. I mean, honest, honestly, if they make the playoffs, that'll be to be determined. But so far. I, I'll, I can jump on this one. I'm yeah, sure this, the likelihood of this being a unanimous answer is very high. Fred Warner. <laughs> Fred Warner. How could it not be? If you go back since the day he was drafted, since week one of the 2018 season, he started every single game. 45 oh. games appeared in, 45 starts. He is the Ironman that DeForest Buckner was from the moment he was drafted, just starting every game, anchoring the defensive line. That's Fred Warner, not just for the linebacking core, but for the entire defense. He's the leader. Where would this team be without him on the defensive side of the ball? I don't know. He's Love it. Not, I, I saw he's not up there in Pro Bowl votes. What? That's a popularity contest. Yeah, it's Devin White or one of the uh, – Levante David, one of the Tampa Bay Buccaneer linebackers that are leading the NFC in Pro Bowl votes. But that's irrelevant when it comes to All-Pro. He's playing at the All-Pro level. And not only is he the most valuable player, he's the most valuable captain on the team. He's the youngest one out of all of the captains. And I go back to that Packers game, a game he shouldn't have been in when they were down 34-3. to He's playing every single snap like it's his last, just flying all over the football field, making plays left and right. And that's when you're down 31 points. So Fred Warner has been standing out as an individual player as well as a captain he in my opinion he's the only one that deserves to see on his chest that's been healthy over the last couple of weeks in comparison to mike mcglinchey and eric armstead oh i thought mike mcglinchey would be in the running for mvp okay fair enough that's <laughs> yeah Bill, who wants next um I, I i mean it's tough to argue with that i mean i gotta go fred warner you have to go someone on the defense yeah. You have to go someone that's played a lot of snaps because not a lot of 49ers have this year. Um, if you're not going to go Warner and if you're going to cheat a little bit, uh, Robert Sala, even though he's not a player, most valuable person maybe, um, Robert <laughs> Sala has, has really been an MVP-type impact for the 49ers this year. That was my secret answer, but that's that's a good one. Those are those, I think I actually think Robert Sala has just as much of a claim to it as as um, Warner. They're, they're kind of like in double dragons you know, yeah. in a sense. Yeah, but okay, keep going, man. Uh, so I, I kind of liken this to the MLB half the time where it's just Mike Trout is going to be the MVP most times, and it's yeah. just who's going to be the second guy in the AL. And that's what I, I'm doing with this is Fred yeah. Warner is the MVP. So I put Kerry Hyder Jr. and Jason Verrett for the Ooh. defense as the, the runners-up for yeah. players because that's I think one. without Kerry Hyder, the, the defensive line would have absolutely nothing going on. Eric Armstead – might be taking on double teams a lot to reduce his numbers. Some would argue, but I don't think he's in the conversation for MVP. But Hyder's putting up the sacks, and that's big for this defense. Mm -hmm. And Jason Verrett has probably had the best man cover corner season for the Niners since Carlos Rogers' best outside season in my lifetime. So yeah. <laughs> it's been pretty good this year. Yeah, uh, I would. I was going to say Jason Verrett too. It's, it's Fred Warner, but I want to give Jason Verrett his due. Because to me, he's mm -hmm. better than Carlos Rogers. Carlos Rogers was very good, but he was benefiting from the best front seven and the best pass rush. Jason Verrett doesn't have doesn't have the pass rush, and he has allowed Robert Sala to improve. I mean, Robert Sala is so good right now because of Verrett. Warner lets him do a lot, but Ver Verrett lets him call man coverage, disguise his coverages, switch it up. Sala has improved. I think it's gone right to Verrett. He's the best corner they've had, in my opinion, since Eric Davis in 1995. Uh, I don't know how how much of a future he has. He's had a lot of injuries, but right now he's playing like a, mm -hmm. a team MVP. 